Hi, my name is Linda Parsons, and I'll be demonstrating this week's experiment for you, the identification of anions. In this experiment, you will use the results of several tests in order to determine the identification of two unknown solutions. However, before we get started, let's go back and review a few terms from lecture. First of all, let's define an ion. An ion is a charged particle, either positive or negative. These positively and negatively charged species are given specific names. A cation is a positively charged ion. An anion is a negatively charged ion. In this experiment, you will be concerned with the negatively charged anions. In general, on the periodic table, the elements on the right side tend to form ions that have a negative charge. These elements are highlighted on the periodic table for you to see. The halogens, fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine, should be familiar elements that tend to form negative ions. In lecture, you have also studied polyatomic ions. A polyatomic anion is a covalently bonded group of atoms that have a negative charge. Some familiar polyatomic ions would be the carbonate ion, CO3 with a negative 2 charge, the sulfate ion, SO4 with a negative 2 charge, the nitrate ion, NO2, with a negative 1 charge. In this experiment, you will be testing for the presence of nine known anions and two unknown anion solutions. The equipment you will use in this experiment will be a spot plate, the test reagents, the acid test reagent, the iron test reagent, the barium test reagent, and then the nine known anions, carbonate, dichromate, iodine, nitrite, oxalate, phosphate, sulfate, thiocyanate, and thiosulfate. In previous experiments, you may have been asked to determine the amount of a substance. In this experiment, we will only be testing for the, for the presence of a substance. Let's look at the definition of these two types of analysis. Quantitative analysis is the determination of the amount of a component that is present in a sample, the measured amount. Qualitative analysis is the detection of the presence of a component in a substance only, not the amount. A qualitative analysis scheme has already been figured out for you, so your main task will be to perform the test and write down your observations on, a, on the observation sheet. The observation sheet looks like this. There are four types of observations that you will want to uh, look for and record on your observation sheet. First is a color change. An example would be a clear solution that changes to an orange solution. Second is the formation of a gas. If a gas is produced, you will see tiny bubbles form. Third, the formation of a precipitate. The solution would become cloudy and a solid can be seen in the bottom of the well. Number four, no observable change. This observation is just as important as the others and should be recorded. Let's look first at the color change. I'll take five drops of a known anion in the well. And then add the reagents necessary for the test. Let's look next at the formation of a gas. Again, I'll add the reagents necessary for the test. I'll add the known anion and then the test reagent. You may not be able to see this on the screen, but there are tiny bubbles forming. When you do this test, observe very closely and you'll see these tiny, bu tiny bubbles coming up from the bottom of the well. This is the formation of a gas. To show the formation of a precipitate, I'll first add the known anion and 
and the reagents necessary for this test. I'm first going to make it acidic with a couple of drops and then add the test reagent. In this reaction you can see a white cloudiness has occurred. This is the formation of a white precipitate. If you allow it to settle for a little while, you will be able to see the white solid in the bottom of the well. Okay. This is the last example that I'm going to show you. No observable change. I'll add the known anion. And the test reagent necessary for the test. The reagents have all been added according to the procedure, and as far as I can tell, nothing has happened. There's no color change, no gas, no solid. Remember that this observation is as important as the others and should be recorded on the observation sheet as no change. Some tips for a better experiment. Be sure to use distilled water throughout the experiment whenever water is called for so you don't introduce any interfering materials. Be very specific with your observations. Write down everything that you see. If you're not sure about a particular test, redo it. Take your time and good luck.